What I'm doing is placing an open call to anybody out there in the Northeast that may be watching this. If you've been drawn to this video and the things I'm about to describe are things that are in your heart, take it as a divine ordination. You're here watching this for a reason. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we went to a local favorite. So I know that a lot of y'all are gonna be happy about this. We went to, hold on. Stefano's. Now let me give you a quick rundown of what I've got in the bag and the box and what we're gonna do. So we've been on a hunt to find the best burger in Florence. And I do have Stefano's cheeseburger in this bag. But it also became very clear to me that we need to identify the best of a lot of different items. So we're going to start spreadsheets with rankings that you'll see at the end of this video. We've got pizza and we've also got wings in this bag. And I've also got a cheesesteak because I personally need to know where is the best cheesesteak within driving distance for me. I need to know that. But we'll get into that in just a minute. One other thing that we'll get into a little bit more in a minute, but I want to say right now, please understand that everything that I'm rating today, I am rating on a Florence scale. That's going to be very important to know, especially for those of you that are watching from all over the place, particularly the Northeast, because we're going to talk about the Northeast here in a few minutes. So with that being said, let's don't waste any time. So the first item I'm going to get into is the cheeseburger. So their cheeseburger comes standard with lettuce, tomato, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, and onions. I didn't add anything to it. I got it just the way that it comes. So this is going to go in the spreadsheet somewhere, and I have no idea where. The fries are the, um, I call them textured fries. They're not my favorite, but they're, they're not bad. I would just say these are average. No problem. Let me get one more bite of this burger. Okay, this burger is very reminiscent of the SC Real Foods burger. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. I right, saw so off the rip. It's good. It is good. Um, it's not quite on the SC Real Foods burger level. So, because what it is, the patty is seasoned. Perhaps slightly under seasoned though. But it is seasoned. That's good. I'm pleased. I would order this again. Now, next is something that you guys have been asking about. And we will be searching for the best wings. What are the best chicken wings that Florence has to offer? When I'm ranking wings, I'm going to order just standard hot wings for all of them. Let's try one flat and one drum. Let's see about Stefano's chicken wings. For one, for those of y'all that might be wondering, I don't usually dip my wings in ranch or blue cheese. If I had a buffalo strip or a boneless wing, then I would probably put that in blue cheese or ranch, depending on how good the ranch is or the blue cheese at that establishment. But I actually don't do that with chicken wings, so sorry to disappoint anybody. Um, no complaints with those chicken wings at all. Those were fine hot wings in my book. I would be perfectly happy if somebody brought me those. Uh, the only thing I will say is I normally order my wings double fried, but in this case I did not because I didn't want to throw it off any by doing any uh, variables. So I kept them just the way they are. In the future, I would do that. The hot sauce in there was fine. Everything was straightforward. It was standard hot wing. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so as you know, pizza is a hot topic. And this came up in the Facebook group the other day, wings and pizza actually, and the other thing we're about to talk about. I knew... For a couple weeks now, we have to identify the best pizza in Florence. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a spoiler alert that for me right now, Stefano's and Chibo's are sister companies and are in my number one spot. Now, this could change as we start going down the line and trying out different places. There's a couple places that I have not been to. But for right now, obviously, with this being the first one, this is going to be at the top. There's a good chance that for me, by the time this is all said and done, this will still be at the top. For pizza on a Florence scale. So check this out. You hear that crust? I like the quality they've got on the cheese and the pepperoni. Their sauce is a little thick. Like it's a little heavy, I would say. 
their crust or their dough is nothing necessarily to write home about, but it does seem to be freshly made and um, cooked well. And so again, on a Florence scale, I don't have a particular problem with this. If I have to choose between this and like chain restaurants like Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars, I'm choosing this all day. Please remember we're going to give all of these an official ranking at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, let's move on to what I'm going to say is the most important menu item in this spread that we have today, the cheesesteak. For those that know me and know me well, they know that I've always been a lifelong Eagles fan. Go Birds. And uh, I don't know what it is. You know, just an affinity towards some of the things of Philly. Certainly not limited to the cheesesteak. Before we get into this, let me make my disclaimer. With all that being said, on your screen right now is some footage of our last trip to Philadelphia where we went to Angelo's Pizzeria. And so when I'm grading this cheesesteak, this pizza, the, the hoagies and sandwiches that we're about to talk about, I'm really grading overall in my mind on this scale. All right, so I'm going to say some things, and in reference to that, these are my comparisons. This is what I'm comparing this food to. However, I'm going to officially rate this food on a Florence scale. It's going to be vastly different. And so to give you an example with this cheesesteak, if I was to grade this on an overall scale, this cheesesteak right here, then it would perform very poorly. It can't compete with what you just saw on your screen. It's not even close. This would be certainly securely in the mid category somewhere compared to those. However, much like the pizza on a Florence scale, I've got Stefano's cheesesteak in the number one spot. And we're going to set out to find if there's something better. But right now I do have them number one. So you just got to keep that in mind. That's how this is being graded and handled. Now, with their cheesesteak, they also give this cup of marinara, which I actually think is a nice touch. Now, there's two ways to look at it. The fact that it needs it, like that cheesesteak you just saw on the screen, I wouldn't touch, I wouldn't let marinara come anywhere near that sandwich or any other condiment or item for that matter. That would be inappropriate. However, and no offense to Stefano's, like I said, this is my favorite steak sandwich, at least up to this point in the area. It's a nice touch. There's a ton of cheese on here. That's why it looks all gooey like that. It's just cheese, onions, and the steak. If you ask for long hots, they're not going to know what you're talking about, just so you know. All right. I should have tried it without that first. I do like it with the marinara, though. However, without the marinara. Now, I will say those onions are caramelized well. The sugars in there are really coming out and shining. This is good. I mean, I, I like I said, on a floored scale, to my knowledge... This is the best cheesesteak you can get. Compared to Angelo's cheesesteak, forget about it. They're not even in the same league. Not even close. Okay, now that's a good segue to what I want to talk about. The Florence Foodies is designed to be culture changing. What I mean by that is that my hope is that this community will galvanize, come together and solidify, and actually play a very real role in the continuation of the changing of the food culture in Florence. There are people that have already... Yes, the Florence foodies can really make an impact. That's the bottom line. Literally, I believe that we could play an actual role in the continuation of the development of the food scene here in Florence and come alongside those that have come before us in the various ways that they have that have contributed to what we have today. And so that was a good segue into what I wanted to talk about on this video. If you look at this post from our Facebook group, you will see that it's not only I, and I've been saying this for years to friends of mine and my wife, but even now publicly with a recent video where I talked about this, we need a New York, a Northeast caliber deli here in Florence. And I know, and if you watch, this is another thing we've been talking about on the channel. If you watch these two recent videos that I'll put up top on your screen, a lot of people are moving to Myrtle Beach. I also know that a lot of people come from up north and move to Myrtle Beach and open up shops, pizza shops, for example, specifically. And so really, if I really want pizza, I'll actually go 
down to the beach. There's some pizza down there that's really good. But I've talked about in recent videos, you really need to weigh it out because Florence really can be the better option when you look at all of the criteria, when you look at all the details. Now, it may not be for everybody, and I understand that. But for some people, and we're only 65 miles west, what I'm doing is placing an open call to anybody out there in the Northeast that may be watching this. If you've been drawn to this video and the things I'm about to describe are things that are in your heart, take it as a divine ordination. You're here watching this for a reason. We have investors lined up in place already to set up shop for a properly ran, well executed, correctly executed deli here in Florence. And I am beyond certain that it will do well if it's executed correctly. And those of you that are up there know what I'm talking about. What we're lacking is the right person. Could somebody that's not from up north is familiar with the culture pull it off? Maybe. But the likelihood of them not succeeding, not executing the way it really needs to is higher, in my opinion. Plus, the likelihood of them not being aware of those certain little nuances is also higher. And sometimes it's just those little details that really can make all the difference in something just being average or slightly above average compared to elite or excellent, right? I've heard stories that there are people down in Myrtle Beach that are flying water in, they're shipping water in to their restaurants because you know what they say about the sandwiches and the pizzas up north. They say that it's, that it's in the water. I don't know. But I know they're doing something right. Even the pizza. I mean, you go to Angelo's that you saw and you look at the crust. You eat it. The crust on that Angelo's pizza, man, it's like night and day. It's light, airy, crispy, fantastic. There's nothing on that pizza except for cheese, sauce, and basil. And it is out of this world good. What I will say is right now the best sandwich in Florence is Jersey Mike's. I'd be willing to bet there are 150 delis in New Jersey that blow Jersey Mike's out of the water. And I'm not throwing Jersey Mike's under the bus. Jersey Mike's is my favorite sandwich locally. I'm just saying that that's probably true. If you're from New Jersey and you're watching this, can you qualify my statement? Am I accurate in my assumption or am I inaccurate in my assumption? Let us know down in the comments. But we want a deli here. That post in the Facebook group just goes to show that, you know, it's not just me that's saying that. And so Florence Foodies, this is your opportunity to put into practice exactly what I was just talking about. Drop a comment because you never know who's watching these videos and let the world know, yes, we would like to have a New York style, New Jersey, Philly, something Northeast style deli with a variety of sandwiches. You know, you got your cold cuts, your hot sandwiches, chicken cutlet, variety of sandwiches, whatever they may do with that. Maybe a couple specialty items. Drop a comment below and let them know, yes, we would like to have that, please, and thank you. And I'm telling you that if that's you out there, there are opportunities that exist. We need to talk. So I'm I'm not joking. Reach out to me. My contact information is always down in the description of these videos. And let's talk. I will fly to New Jersey. I will fly to New York and meet with you so that we can take a look at some food and make sure that we're on the same page. And just as far as, you know, the business opportunity, this is a growing area. I mean, you look at some of the development, you can look at these most recent two videos here and kind of get some idea from hearing some different people talking in those videos, seeing some different footage of some of the things that have been going on specifically in the downtown area of Florence. So that's all I'm going to say about that for now. We need a deli operator. If you think that may be you, please reach out to me today and let's talk. Now, with that being said, let's rank some food. And I got good news for you, Stefano. So this, I suspect, is going to finish, if not at the very top, near the top for our pizza ranking as we go throughout Florence. That, that's what I suspect to happen. It's currently in my top spot. Like, if I really wanted pizza and I didn't want to drive to the beach, I would go to Stefano's or Chibos. That's what I suspect is going to happen here with the pizza. So with that being said, on a Florence scale... I'm going to give it a top tier landing spot and it's going to be in first place. Congratulations, Stefano's Pizza. You're in first place because it's the only one that we've ranked so far. I'm even more certain that this cheesesteak is going to land at the top by the time we go look for all the cheesesteaks. I hope that I am wrong. I hope that I'm pleasantly surprised and there's a cheesesteak out there somewhere within driving distance, reasonable driving distance, takes the number one spot. But I suspect that this is going to end up number one. And so I'm going to give it a top tier rating on a Florence scale. And it is the first place cheesesteak right now because it's the only one we've done. Stefano's cheesesteak, you are top tier. You're in the number one spot. And if I had to bet my money, I think 
you're probably going to end there by the time it's said and done. Maybe not. As far as the wings go, they're straightforward. Those are textbook hot wings. Textbook. And so what I mean by that is there's nothing negative to say about them. By the time it's said and done, I don't think they will finish in the number one spot, but they definitely won't be at the bottom either. They'll probably be somewhere in the middle of the pack or on the higher side. And lastly, the burger. This is the most interesting one because we've already done four of the burgers. So for me, it really ended up coming down to, was I going to put it above or below what's our current last place burger, our fourth place burger, which is the bird's nest. But remember, every burger we've done so far, I gave a top tier rating to. And as I ate it, what you missed, I figured it out. I like the way that this burger was dressed. Lettuce, tomato, onions, mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise better than the magic city burger that we had at bird's nest i personally did just classic cheeseburger i liked that better on an american cheese on that one but the reality is i could just go to bird's nest and dress a burger the same way if you remember what stood out to me about the bird's nest burger was that wood smoke flavor that was on the meat and i have to base a burger ranking the burger's the key component so I can't give you a higher rating because it's dressed how I like better. So with that being said, I am going to give the Stefano's cheeseburger another top tier rating because I don't have anything negative to say about it, but I am going to put it bringing up the rear for now in fifth place. I think the bird's nest burger is a little bit better because it's got a little bit more flavor wise going on. Nobody told me where that smoke flavor is coming from. I still don't know how they're cooking those. Now, for those of y'all that may be thinking, man, this guy gives top ratings to everything. Like I can't take him seriously. No, you can ask my wife. Um, I don't do that. My goal, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus by any means, but at the same time, I have to be objective and just tell the truth as I see it. We're here to review food. So it is what it is. And I can promise you, and I'm saying that because of this burger, Stefano's take heart. That burger will not finish and last, even though it's bringing up the rear right now out of five burgers. There are some that we'll go to that I've had before that I'm pretty sure, because we got to go. We got to try all of them to rank them, right? To find the best. You're not going to finish and last, I don't think. Don't worry. There are going to be items that are not going to get a top tier rating and they're not going to perform well in these reviews. It's going to happen. I don't necessarily welcome it or look forward to it. But we need to tell the truth and we are foodies and we're going to eat it and we're going to judge it. And that's just the way that it is. I'm looking forward to hearing from our new deli operator. I believe you're out there somewhere. I believe you're in New Jersey, New York, Philly, maybe Boston. You're somewhere up there. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you because that's something we would really love to see happen. Overall, I would say Stefano's performed well. And by the time this is all said and done, I think that each one of these items we looked at will be somewhere in the top half of the rankings in their respective categories. And with that said, we've got four categories open now. So we've got pizza, wings, cheeseburgers, cheesesteaks. I definitely know that tacos on my short list to get to. Uh, the plan is to leave no stone uncovered as we look for the best item in all of these categories. If you like these videos, please give them a like. It really helps us out a lot. We appreciate the support. Subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned for future videos as we go down the line and try all these items and check all these things out and explore new places that I've never been and perhaps you haven't either. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.